Hello everyone, Donut Donny here, and welcome to another game of the retro football management games of the 1980s, early 90s, and we go back in time to see what these were like before the time of the massive championship manager, football manager series that we all love now, and FIFA and all that. We're going back to these games where there's amazing graphics and very little sound. But anyway, the game we're going to today is Football Glory, which is one of the rare games because this game was actually made in 1980, uh, 1992. So it's probably one of the final games that was made for the Spectrum uh, while the Spectrum was still um, massively produced or in those days, um, probably 1992, it was under Amstrad, wasn't it? Um, so it wasn't as popular as it used to be. But anyway, this is Football Glory done in 1992 by Redwood Designs creator Graham Shaw. Um, and we're playing it on the 48K on one, on my eliminator. And um, this game should have a little bit more sound into it. Um, I'm looking at this through the Spectrum Computing website. This is where you can always find other games. And yeah, it's worth looking into. So let's uh, let's go straight do it. So let the eliminator go through. I better speed back to normal because sometimes I go on fast speed and I don't realize it. And football glory. It's loading it up. We've actually got some sound. So I need to type in these controls. Q A O P space. So okay, yeah, this is normal speed. English team, Scottish teams. Okay, that's good. That's cool. English teams then. As I'm English. Total players. Oh, we can have more than one player. Multiplayer. Nice. So some plus points already there. Right, this whole. I don't like this in italic type letter writing because as you can see there when I type donut the H and the N look literally the same. So um do I want to pick Liverpool? Let's see if Oxford, my own side are in this. United, Leeds United, Arsenal. Sheffield Wednesday, Coventry. I think these are all the Premier League sides in 1992, actually. So if I remember correctly, Oxford were in League One or the Championship, maybe. Wimbledon. Wow. Oldham. Norwich. Notts County. West Ham. QPR. Southampton. Luton. Sheffield United. Middlesbrough, Cambridge, Swindon, Oxford have got to be here. Sorry, if Cambridge are in this, Oxford have got to be in this. Famous last words, Mr. Donut. Sunderland and Newcastle, Barnsley. Back to Liverpool again. No, don't tell me. No offence to all those Cambridge and Swindon and Luton supporters, but Oxford are not in this. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> not good. Um, okay, let's uh, let's choose a team. I might actually choose Cambridge. Why not? I'm an Oxford person, but I don't mind choosing Cambridge if Oxford are not in here. So let's see if we can find Cambridge. I'm surprised they are in there though. It's the first time. There we go. Pick Cambridge. Updating data. Again, as always on these retro series, we've got a. Um, we can speed up the game if it takes too long to update the data, and we might actually do that right now. I'm just surprised that of you could pick something like oh there we go, you can pick like 15 teams and Oxford wasn't one of them. Change the names, computer ability. What's that? What's computer ability? English third division. Oh, okay. Oh, this is the various levels. So let's do non-league coach. I like that. Change the names. Is this player names or team names? Oh, here we go. Uh, oh, does that actually tell you? 
Name FC club. What's that? Football club. Haha. <laughs> See if I can put my Oxford in. Are you letting me? Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oxford are in. Haha. <laughs> Sorry, Cambridge. Points were in. Three. Yep. Yeah, definitely three points. Begin new season. There we go. Now I'm hoping it's done something there. Sometimes when the screen goes black, that doesn't look good. Oh, there we go. We're fine. Whew. So we've got the fixture list for Division 1, Week 1 of 30. Here are all the sides. Uh, so it's split into two divisions of 18 clubs. Is that right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 16 clubs. And Oxford are in Division 2. This is before the Premier League. So it must be a year before the Premier League. Oh, we got little Man United are the team on form and they received a cheque for 9,500. <laughs> yeah, it's not a lot. Chelsea have transferred listed Lasso. Graham Lasso. Who was an England player as well. I think he was born in the Channel Islands, if my memory is correct. Okay, are you moving on for that? Okay, I'm speeding you up because sometimes they do get stuck. So we're going four times faster now. There we go. So we now go to normal speed. Key to exit page, Oxford Football Club. So we can select the squad, training session. Oh, I think that's the phone going in the game, by the way. Access the phone. This is a non-league offer. Hello, I'm interested in buying who are you interested in buying? Ledbitter. Oh, I think these are real Cambridge players. Wage 165 value. He's offering 178,000, but his value is 230,000. Yeah, go away. You. Nice to hear from you. Goodbye. Okay, I like that. Exit page. So. Training session. Shooting skills, let's do that. So just gonna do one player. Yeah, looks like it. Oh, we can't do any more training. So far, so good in this game. I like this. You can see why it's 1992, though. It's definitely a lot more. Oh, another phone. It's definitely a lot more um, offers, uh, game things to do. The training ground is open late. Does that mean we can do more training? Let's have a look. Back up to training session. Yes, it is. We can do more training. Passing the ball then. This is for midfielders, I'm guessing. No improvements. So it wasn't worth the extra training. See you later, boss. <laughs> yeah, it's 1992 and already I can see a lot, a lot of good little things in this game. Okay, Star Apprentice. I think that's for the youth team, which is good. But we're going to... Oh, okay. In director's box. You're currently in the director's box. Let's go into the dugout. Yes. Select the squad. So this is the... Of course, this is uh, Cambridge name players, but Oxford team name. So this is good. So every team you go to actually will have their real life players. Like Claridge. Claridge that was the... He then went to Leicester and did very well. Leicester. Steve Claridge. So select the squad. So we've got where they're playing, form and skill, goal scored and age. I like that. Age is the first time we've seen age in the game. So is there anything we can see here which we can improve? I don't think so, to be honest. Penalty taker. He's even got a nominated penalty taker there, Phil Pot. That's good. Return. So I think we go to, um, we kind of selected the squad already. So I think we leave the office. 
play for a draw, control midfield, play for a win. Let's control midfield for the first game. And then you get this Saturday soccer news, which is basically the same as with one difference with the QPR thing in there. Day of the match arrives. So we're waiting for the day of match. And here's the game. The game kicks off. And we have got some noise. And it's using the good old dot matrix. Strange using all these names are Cambridge players, but they're playing for Oxford. <laughs> this is normal speed. We will speed this up a little bit in a minute. But we can go through while the game's being played, what I think. There's a lot of positives in this game. Um, you can clearly see it's been made in 1992 because the actual programming of the game is a lot more thorough than some of the early games we've been trying. There is a lot of um, advantages in this, like this text is brilliant here. Um, the options you can do, the phone call, which is great. The squad, names, there's names for every players, opposition players, your own players. Uh, league, there's 32 teams in this league, so I'm hoping there is a cup in this. And then you get the actual match itself, which is just like using a, the old fashioned dot matrix printer as they used to be in the early 90s. And, um, and you get a referee's whistle. Home, way, home or away for a team, is that left or right? Yes, next time that comes up, I'll see if I press the left or right. And for another thing about this is that it asked me to change the keys. Oh, actually, I could, if I, ah, that home and away thing meant I could actually uh, get a substitute in if I wanted to straight away. And then I can change the tactics as well. Oh, that's can that's handy. But we are going to speed the game up a little bit. Because it looks like each game normal speed will go on for quite a while. So we're going six times faster now. I do like this text. This text is quite good. Oh, that's, is that, oh, that was a. I think that was offside. Goal! Not for us, though, for Sheffield United. It was just a short burst of a uh, crowd, I think. Oh, there's today's attendance 18,000. So you get a short burst of crowd sound effect when the goal is scored. Brian Dean. So that is that he was a real Sheffield United player. I like the text there. Yellow card. Yellow card icon. Again, the first we've seen that. I think when you watch every game though, it could take up to, what, five minutes, another goal, and Philpott scored for Oxford. <laughs> Cambridge player scored for Oxford. So, Sheffield United 1, Oxford 1. Do we get extra minutes? Nope. So, you get a match, this, this, uh, match stats screen there. Oh, because we went very fast, we didn't see it, but... We actually dominated that game, but it drew one all. So here's the results. Again, this is six times faster, so it would have been like this. Not many goals in the Division 1 there.
So it's definitely a game you have to be pretty patient in playing. But clearly there's a lot of advantages in this game. Um, I like the use of the colour as well. And yeah, the sound is finally being used. But again, this game is 1992. So one of the later ones we've seen here. This is Remember, this is 10 years after Football Manager. And there's the Oxford game right at the bottom there. I think that bar down there, that's, yeah, it's definitely, a, it's a um, thinking bar. So we're, we're increasing the speed, so it's going down a lot quicker than it naturally should be doing. There we go. So we'll go back to normal speed. You can save after each game, which we're not going to here. So next game, so we do another game. And let's look at the different other options. So just waiting for us, we're home to Newcastle. West Ham are the team on form and they received a cheque for 9,500. Seems a common amount. Any transfer warnings? Man City have transfer listed Sharon. Mike Sharon. This is not, this is the Man City before they got uh, bought by the uh, very rich people. And we'll just wait until this is a screen that does take a while to I think doesn't it so let's increase the speed to four times there we go back to normal that's the phone so let's do the phone again hello I'm interested in buying who's he interested in buying lead bitter again Oh, it's even worse than the other one. 140,000 instead of 170,000. I like this, though. So, report on status. Let's oh, phone again. <laughs> the training ground is open late. Well, we haven't even used it yet. sign of the uh, phone going off this time. Let's do some tackling skills. This player's skill has improved. So it's only, it looks like when you do this only one random player comes up. Sometimes no players come up. Oh, it looks like we can use it twice. That's handy. Offside try up 10%. Okay, so that does increase. Okay, let's look at Start Apprentice. What's that? The transfer list is full. Oh, okay. So we have to get rid of a player to put an apprentice in the squad. See the see scout report. Who do we do? I also just list random players from real life players from other clubs and what their scout is, even if you didn't ask for them. <laughs> so let's see the link table. Okay, it's taken a while to think about it, so let's give it a bit of a hand there. There's the league table. And we are, oh, this is League One, Division One, and then Division Two, which is us. So it does do both tables, and Oxford there in ninth place with. 1-1 one, one result from the last game. Um, okay, I've got 
yeah, it's gone very fast because I forgot to turn the speed down. Select the squad. Here's the squad again. Anyone I can swap around? Not really, to be honest. I can swap the formation around if I think that's better. But there's not really much I can do here. But one thing I might want to do. Yeah, that works. And then swap it down there. They're the two subs, so. Does, will it swap it around? Yes, it does swap it around. Very handy. Styles is on the transfer list. So players 14, 15, 16 are automatically on the transfer list. Or players 12 and 13 are your two subs. But So you only get bids, I think, for these three players. So even if you have to force a player down into the transfer list, you don't have to sell them. Okay, leave the office. I don't know what standing dugout, standing director's box does. I suppose it affects if you can make choices for the game or not. Let's leave the office and go to our next game, which we will speed up. Let's play for a win. So you do get... 9,500 again. You do get um, the same type of screens all the time. I think you'll get that for every 8-bit game what's limited so we are we are going to speed this up to six times so the sound is not true like what the sound normally is Oxford fans are singing here we go here we go seems like that's the only time the only song the fans are singing they only know one song. But these are real Newcastle named players, which is a nice touch again. So all the players from um, every side, all the 32 sides are real players. But again, because we put in Oxford's name, we're using Cambridge's name, players, which is a strange mix. But overall, the game, I do like it. Fenton has scored a goal for Oxford. 1-0 up. It's definitely um, a game you could spend a lot of time in this one. Oh, that was a penalty as well. Half time, 6,500 people at Oxford, which is about right. <laughs> Yellow card. Another goal's been scored and it's 2 1 Phil Pop again. So that 3 1 Blanford. I thought Blanford was the goalie. <laughs> Might be wrong. Shots made, three, five shots. Corners, two corners to Newcastle. Here comes the results. Again, this is speeded up a little bit. So yeah, overall, not a bad game. For night, you can clearly see what changes they've done. This is 1992, so expect this game to be better than um, a lot of the games we've seen already. I like the colour scheme. I don't like the font too much. Um, all 32 sides have got actual players playing for them, which is very good. Um, yeah, I do like it. And of course, there's a lot more sound in this. And the I love the phone. 
continue season. Another fixture list. Nothing about cups in this, I don't think. This is a bit of a random screen. It just tells you which team gets five points. Of course, that's the phone, which is a lot quicker now. Leadbitter again. Oh, that's actually close to what he's worth. So let's do that. And now that, oh, another phone. We want the team to be a success. That's from the directors. So we can actually now get an express. Oh, so the apprentice is also called Leadbitter. How about that then? And he's 16 years old. Uh, skill zero, form of one. So, and he's defender. So, I'm guessing that will return. That will go up as he gets older. Report and status. Financial report. Okay, so we've got. Oops. No. Sorry, it's going a bit too fast for me. Here we go. Financial report. We've got 420,000 in the bank. That's cool. Now, now we bought a player no we got an apprentice in which means we still can't buy players because we've got a full squad let's just see the scout report again yeah random players again and let's do training session and play one more game and that's it for today ground is closed start apprentice i think we've done that already yeah it's full Leave the office, play for a win. Again, this is speeded up a bit, Ipswich. Early goal, Taylor. going to make it 10 times faster now so so the game doesn't normally go this fast by the way field pop penalty there this is 10 times the speed now will it be three out of three for oxford which has only got 5,000 people on the ground. 5,500, not a lot. 3-0 to Oxford. Make that four. Two penalties to fill pot. Oxford are doing very well here. shots seven shots again the game doesn't normally go this fast I must stress but yeah I've been impressed been impressed it's good it's been a good game clearly as I keep saying you can see the improvements this game made when it's 1992 continue season Next fixtures will be home to Luton, but we won't see that. Oxford are the team on form. Yay, we got nine and a half thousand for that. Ooh. Max S in the phone. I think that's the board gave you some money, basically. Okay. Let's turn the speed down a bit because it makes the menu choice pretty hard. There we go. Oh, I need to update the speed again because uh, as soon as I turned it down, I needed to turn it back up again. That's League One. League Two. And we're third. Yeah, the font is a bit hard to see in places. Um, I don't know if it's for you guys, but definitely for me on this big screen. Uh, let's see, has the... 
apprentice improved a bit. Now he's on zero, but form is three. Oh, Blanford is a striker. Sheffield was the goalie. Okay, yeah. I have to say, I am... I'm impressed with the game. It is a good game. Um, out in 1992, you can clearly see it was made in 1992. Uh, there's definitely a lot of... Um, plus points to this, the sound's being used a lot more. Uh, Start Apprentice is pretty new with the, um, I think I've only seen Apprentice in Football Director 2. Scout Report, uh, phone is, yeah, again, the phone is brand new. I like the report and status, training sessions, select the squad, the match report is good. You can actually stand in the dugout, make choices. If you're in the director's box, you can't make choices. The board is in this game as well. Um, 32 teams each team has actually got a list of about 14 15 real players player names so that's all good but yeah i do like this um so again if you do enjoy the series please subscribe make a comment and uh, we'll do another episode sometime in the future so thank you very much and goodbye